As storied bookstores go, The Strand in the Village is one of the most well-known in the city. And you would think that this bookstore would be eligible or should be a city landmark. But The Strand's owner says no, and she's fighting to keep her independent store just that way. I would use reporter Michelle Charlesworth has the story. Landmark this building on East 12th, the owner says, please do not, and talks about the biggest competitor she has, Amazon, getting favors from the city. The richest man in America asked for a tax break in New York. He gets handed over $3 billion. Nancy Bass Wyden owns Strand Bookstore, which has been in the city for more than 90 years. Her late father bought this building in 1996, which is what she says has kept them in business because they were not strangled by rising rents. We had a lifetime of seeing what the story is in New York when you don't buy the building, the rent increases come, and then you have to go out of business. It would cost us a lot of money, which is not fair, considering you know how few bookstores are in New York and how much we do want to keep it here. All of this designation will do is cost us in bureaucracy, in time, frustration, money, and uncertainty. Dozens of people showed up to show support with buttons and t-shirts and arguments at the Landmarks Preservation Commission with her attorney comparing the move to the bird preservation efforts of John J. Audubon. However, John J. Audubon did this by shooting and killing and stuffing his birds before painting them. At Strand Bookstore, everyone had read up on the fight against landmarking. So I'm happy that they're taking the initiative and having a backbone and standing up. The Landmarks Commission is expected to hear testimony at least one other day on this and make their final decision by February. Meantime, the woman who owns the building promises to fight this to the end and appeal it if necessary.